else. We're checking the energy. Hope everyone's doing well. Thank you to everyone that's like, shared, subscribed. <clears throat> if you purchased a reading or if you've uh, donated to my channel, thank you so much. It's much appreciated. Um, if you have not subscribed, please do so that you know when I'm here with new content, okay? If this resonates, please hit me with a like. I really uh, do appreciate it. Um, this energy can be masculine or feminine, so place it on whatever side you need to. Okay, Leos, let's see what's going on. Let's see who is tugging on your energy, my Leos. Okay. Okay, so Leos, you got somebody that you were dealing with that felt like they can go out and find a better you. They felt like, you know, yeah, they cared about you and all, but yeah, they're going to find someone that has better attributes of you, meaning maybe you didn't make enough money, maybe you didn't have enough time, etc. You didn't give them the things that they felt like they deserved. So this person may have went out and they may have started seeing other people, okay? Um try to to uh, have someone better than you okay i cannot show you who i truly am okay and this is not something that you saw right off the bat right you may not have seen this person coming to you know going towards someone else or um making it seem like you are not good enough okay but eventually someone here right got maybe blindsided by this person i'm af i'm afraid that you will reject me if I come to you, okay? This is an energy of someone saying they're sorry, okay? They know what they've done. Uh, they feel some sort of way about how they treated you. Um, they know that you uh, didn't deserve that bullshit that they put you through. However, um, they know <laughs> that you're going to keep it a buck with them when they come back towards you and you're going to say, fuck off. Like, I, I'm good, you know? If you felt like you needed to go and do other shit other than being with me and holding me down, then you can stay your ass over there, okay? This is the energy that I'm, um, is coming through right now. This is a person that um, may have uh, had a sexual attachment to someone else, okay? They could have been addicted to a person, but this is also a person that feels like whoever I'm, I'm channeling here, you may have good lips. You may may be a good kisser, may, um, may have uh, nice lips, you know, on it makes your face for some of you. This person thinks about those lips. <laughs> this person thinks about those lips below the waist as well. I'll just say it that way. No one makes me feel the way you do, right? That person, I'll say it again. That person thinks about those lips below the waist too, okay? Um, you are so beautiful or handsome to me. This person feels like, you know, um, you do have the looks, even though you didn't have their attention, right? I can't be with you right now. I'm working on myself, but I do care for you. I do love you, right? This is the energy coming through. Um... I choose to be celibate until you come back to me. And this is this card here when I made this deck. This is that, you know, I'm out here. You know, I'm doing my numbers. I'm seeing other people. Yeah, right. Um, but either you or this person is feeling like this is the only person that has your heart. Right. You got my heart. You got my mind. You got my emotions. I ain't trying to give that to no one else. Um, you know, while I'm out here, you know, what I'm saying. I know I still care for you, but I'm going to do my numbers while I'm out, okay? Um, our souls will meet in another lifetime. I feel like this is you, Leo, saying, you know what? Go on ahead with that bullshit, you know? <laughs> you know, yeah, I still care about you. Yeah, I, I do miss that energy. Yeah, I do miss you as a person. But, um, yeah, you can go right on ahead with that. You know, I'm not here uh, for the BS and I'm not going to deal with you, um, anymore. Okay. So let's go a little deeper guys. Yep. Commitment here. It could have been a commitment with this person. Um, this, this person may have, uh, broken that commitment. Now this person may be trying to figure out if you're seeing other people. These are the cards that I see as I'm shuffling, right? They want to see if you're into mischief 
or, or uh, fulfilling your fantasies with someone. This person now sees you as the special, irreplaceable, one-of-a-kind person that you have always been, okay? Right? This person knows that you're walking towards new beginnings, okay? And uh, when they think about that, they cringe because they don't like that you're going to get a new beginning, right? This is a person that could be watching you, either watching you on social media, or they could be going through mutual friends or relatives or something of that nature to try and get information on you this person may like horror movie movies we have spirit of the castle right this person is in their mind frame thinking about you all the time right because they know they fucked up okay uh for you guys leo this could be someone that you thought about the same type of way you know when, when everything first went down with this person you may have had them on your mind 24-7, okay? But I feel like that's changed now. I feel like you're not doing that anymore. Or that is not, you know, what has been happening. Okay, I have death ending winter time. Something may have ended with this person in the winter time. This person could be born in the winter. You could be born in the winter or close to the winter, whatever that is or whatever that means to you, Okay. Uh, I know I'm in a Leo reading, meaning you guys may have things in your chart um, that may be um, November, December, January, okay? Um, that would be Scorpio, that would be Sagittarius or Fucus, or that would be uh, Capricorn. You could have those readings, uh, those signs in, in your uh, birth chart, okay? I know someone was like, what? <laughs> Awakening, new dawns, new beginnings, right? That came back out again, right? After this person, you know, things start happening for you, or you had... Um, more energy to go towards some of those things that you wanted to do, right? Changing your life and, and trying to figure out ways to relieve yourself from the burdens that you've been in, right? How can I make more money? How can I go forward? How can I change my life, right? So I feel like someone is here um, trying to change things for themselves, right? Because they're tired of bad news. They're tired of going through hard times. You know what I mean? You know, um, Someone here, um, you feel like you don't want to be the statistic of someone um, or the statistic that is of someone that is uh, passing away around you. You know, I don't know how old this group of people coming through this reading is, but I feel like you're like, you know, I'm trying to change my life. I'm trying to do what I need to do. Um, I don't want to be a statistic. That's what, really what I'm hearing. Um, and you are at the point now where you understand that people can be resentful, people could be miserable, you know, people may be envious of you or the things that you're trying to do or the things that you're trying to change in your life, okay? I feel like you're walking towards good karma. This is what we have. You're doing whatever it is that you need to balance yourself out now. Um, and people may not understand it, okay? You may have been drained, right? This is a Leo card here. Thank you for coming through, Spirit, right? Energy, vitality, resurrection, right? I am replenishing myself, okay? I'm going through this rebirth, right? I'm changing my life for the better. I'm doing things that matter to me, that make me feel whole, that change me uh, uh, into the person that I see myself as. And as I do this, I know that I will ascend, right? I will no longer be unclear about what it is that I want in my life. And I'll no longer allow people to mistreat me or control me. Okay. This is the energy that's coming through. All right. Some of you uh, may be getting some sort of love letter or text or a phone call from someone that you don't want to deal with. Okay. Maybe on some old happy holiday shit. So maybe by Christmas, this will be coming through. Okay, give me one minute. I'm shuffling these cards and some of them just hit the floor. All right. Let me make sure they're all upright. All right, all right.
okay what does leo need spirit thank you just let it fall okay and it hits the floor again this is just lovely okay spirit says you guys may be juggling a lot right now maybe juggling work maybe juggling school um we have the two of pentacles okay um spirit wants you to get the rest that you need to get the focus that you need there we go two of pentacles energy is capricorn right you may be financially um in a place where you're trying to budget or trying to plan out how your finances are gonna go okay but for some of you you may be spending more money than you have so in other words you don't have that much money coming in but you find that you always need something for someone here you may be going through medical tests or some sort of exams if they're if they're not medical you may be um, in school in some way right you're trying to balance yourself out you're trying to get yourself to um, a better time okay I feel like the energy here is one of someone that has struggled you feel like you're done with struggling you don't know you no longer want to struggle right so if you've not had enough money you're trying to make provisions in your life to make sure that you don't have to suffer like this going forward right this is someone that's going to have to balance work balance pleasure you're ready to do that right you're very responsible as well uh, but you're tired of having to juggle and you are waiting for something to give right king of wands energy is here okay so this is cancer or leo you guys are coming through in your reading okay you're very passionate about the things that you're passionate about okay very strong um you get irritated very easily as well but you're a very take charge type of person okay um Spirit says, up until now, you've possibly been moving on your desires and not the things that you need to move on, okay? So in other words, pleasurable things, things that make you feel good, okay? You may be trying to change this within yourself and change more into a queen of pentacles or look for a queen of pentacles around you, okay? Um, if this is not you trying to be this, this is you wanting this in your life. Queen of pentacles could be an earth sign. Also could be a Sagittarius or a Capricorn, right? You like people that are practical, people that are mature, people that are financially uh, independent, down to earth. You know, you feel at home with people like this that have their own, that are very nurturing. Um, I feel like some of you, um, you are drawn to people that have good homes, good lives, that, that could be healers, right? People that like to listen and talk. Uh, about their issues as well we got seven of wands energy right uh people uh around you may not understand you fully and you may feel like you have to defend yourself this is a leo card right you're tired of the challenges the pressure the having to stand up for yourself having to maintain the high road right or not coming back at people that are coming at you okay this is what is here Right. So this person that that may be in your energy may have had you in a place of where you felt like you had to argue all the time. Right. We have uh, the star card, Aquarius energy. Right. This is um, you not giving to that anymore or that person or this person understanding that um, they lost someone that gave to them. All right. I just want to want to flip that on you real quick. This person was up to no good. Seven of Swords. Aquarius again. Okay. You could have been dealing with an Aquarius. And this person put you in the mode of being in a competition with other people. And you said, oh, hell no. We're not doing that. I'm going to focus on my time and my energy. Right. And I'm going to focus on having the Queen of Cups in my life. Someone that wants to love me the right way. Okay. Someone that wants to uh, be compassionate and emotionally supportive uh and loyal okay this is the energy that's coming through all right so listen <laughs> i don't know who this is i hope you guys know who this is and based on some of the cards that came out you know spirit is trying to uh get you to a place of knowing all right my leos so i'm sending you guys love and light you guys take care